Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather here for the next week and a half. And uh, today, once again, kind of a mixture of sunshine, clouds, and a few isolated to scattered thunderstorms across the area. Temperatures where it hasn't rained have heated up into the upper 80s to lower 90s already this afternoon. And we're on our way to the low 90s over most of the region here during the rest of the day today. Again, a, a few areas of rain will be possible as we're going to be watching Again, pretty much the same pattern that we've seen here over the last couple of days. Uh, big upper level ridge across the plains here. Uh, not strong enough, en enough over us to prevent the heat of the day to produce those scattered showers and thunderstorms. And this is going to continue for the next couple of days. So let's take a look at Robin's Toyota Futurecast. You can see the spotty showers and thunderstorms should wrap up this evening. As we go through the night tonight, expect a partly cloudy sky. And then tomorrow, once again, as we begin to heat up, we'll begin to see those scattered showers and thunderstorms pop up across the area. That activity will end tomorrow evening. And then looking ahead to Friday, once again, we'll see that mix of clouds and sunshine, maybe a little bit more coverage of the scattered activity here for uh, Friday afternoon and Friday evening, but that activity should fall apart. And then rainfall chances may increase a bit as we look ahead to the weekend. Here's a look at the uh, pattern uh, which is going to take place during the next uh, 10 days. And you can see that uh, as we go through the next 10 days, we will see a little bit of a disturbance rotate on the back side. Here it is right here across the upper Midwest. It's going to rotate on the back side of this upper level low, which is now situated over the uh, northeastern sections of the country. That's going to push through a better chance uh, for a few scattered thunderstorms late Saturday, Saturday night. And chances may decrease a bit Sunday and then increase again late Sunday and Sunday night. And then once that disturbance clears, our attention will turn to the big upper level ridge, which is going to be building over northern Mexico and southwestern Texas heading into the middle part of next week. That ridge will then expand to the north and east and as a result we will easily see the hottest temperatures of the year so far looking ahead to the end of next week as daytime highs will likely warm pretty close to 100 degrees. Now as far as rainfall potential for the next couple of days again feast or famine it's quite possible many if not most locations stay totally dry here during the course of the uh, next 10 days is a uh, rainfall potential from future gas showing a few zeros on the map here. It's also possible that we could see a few spots that pick up over an inch. Obviously, it's a bit with the pattern that we have uh, difficult to pinpoint exactly where those heavy spots will occur given the randomness of the thunderstorm development. But again, you may not get any and it's very possible you could see an inch of rain during the next 48 hours. So your forecast looks like this. During the next 10 days, we are going to be looking at temperatures across the Arklatex that will stay a little bit above normal during the day and close to normal at night. 69 degrees for the nighttime low tonight in Shreveport, 67 in Texarkana, 66 in Atlanta, 67 degrees in Marshall. Tomorrow, expect that partly cloudy sky and get a chance for that isolated afternoon thunderstorm as we'll see highs in the low to middle 90s, right around 94 in Shreveport, 95 in Natchitoches, 93 degrees for the daytime high tomorrow in Texarkana. 10-day forecast shows that we will see temperatures cool off a bit Saturday with more clouds and a better chance for those scattered thunderstorms. We start to heat up again heading into next week with the mid to upper 90s on the way by the middle of next week. And you can see by the end of the week, we'll see those highs close to 100 degrees. Overnight lows will eventually warm into the low 70s by this weekend. Those lows should warm into the middle 70s by the end of the week. So it looks like our first big taste of summer heat is on the way here during the next 10 days. With a slight chance of rain over the next couple of days, that chance of rain may increase as we head through the weekend.